So I've got the block up on the machine. I'm just trying to sort out some packing. I'm using tool steel. Um, at the moment I've suspended the the block between the the live centre and the tailstock because my dead centre was too small and um, and a truck at this end because if I put the centre in this end I didn't have the travel on the bed to get close enough to the nose. So I am just sorting out the packing at the moment to, to pack the, the block up to the right level. This is just giving me an idea of where I need to be. Um, I will then uh, clamp the block down, take the take these away, and then what I've done before is shine a light around here and look in the end, and vice versa, so that I can see that it's running, so that it's mounted true to the two centres. Best I can do at this stage with what I have available. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it. I am perfectly sure that there are multiple ways of doing this. Um, I'm certain that a lot of those ways will be more accurate than what I'm doing. Uh, but this is what works for me with the equipment I've got. So uh, we'll see if it works. Um, so I just need to, I've now bolted it down and then I'll check that check the uh the check that it's sitting true if it is then i will replace the centers with my between centers boring bar so clamps it down here it's solid fixing what i'm doing shining a torch in that end and then seeing where the light comes out at this end And at the moment, it looks like it is just in that area that it looked out around. And if I do the same at the other end, again, it's just a little bit touching at the top, touching at the bottom. It's out around, so that does confirm suspicions as well. So I'm happy with where that is. I might just have another little tweak and make sure everything's tight and and check I'm happy before I change for the between centres boring bar. So with the uh, block set up for those not familiar with how a between centres boring bar works it's a long bit of bar that goes from chuck to tailstock so this live centre at this end and somewhere along the length there is a tool which is cross drilled stuck through and just protrudes there is a grub screw on both sides so you can slacken the grub screws and edge out the tool slightly um, for accurate movement I would set up the, uh, the readout on them on the, on the bed and zero the, the clock slacken the screws and then just tap it out to get to where I want. But for this first pass, I have set the machine to, uh, so as I, as I put the tool through, I've turned it by hand and it's clearing at the end, going a bit further. And in two or three places it's just touching so we're going to uh, start the machine up and pass it past the block across um, and take a cut right through and then see where we need to go from there Now 
Now this will be worse than watching paint dry for you guys, so I will come back to you when the cut's finished. So I've now taken a cut which has cut all the way around. That was the second cut I took. But what I'm going to do is leave it in the machine, put it back, and just take another couple of passes at the same setting, just to make sure it's cut nice and even. This might be the final pass. I don't know if you can hear. It's still taking a tiny cut. And just to prove that, if I put the airline in the port, you probably can't see, but Swarf does come out the end. So, I'm just going to finish this cut, then maybe do another couple of passes. But hopefully, we should be good. So, on closer inspection, I wasn't happy with the bore. It was still, it was like a little bit that hadn't quite machined. Um, so, I've added another tiny cut of a three or four thou, and we're going again. So, that is the right hand side pretty much reassembled, other than the valve cover, because I haven't made the valve yet. So, that's going to be the next job. Although, I figured, okay, I'll put the bogey back on, and then it dawned on me, for all of the effort of doing this, maybe I should do the other side as well. So, we're going to take the other side off and do the same again on the other side. So while this cut's going on, uh, I thought I'd just tell you what I found. So I took this, this left hand port side cylinder off and uh, I looked in the ball and the wear, it looked pretty round but it also looked like it was more worn at the valve position. So I, mean, I know it did do a lot of running in its early days, so uh, it's to be expected really. So I thought, yep, yeah, go ahead, rebore, and that way. Is that, is that one of the ports at the moment? Uh, rebore, and that way it's true, round, all the way along, and it will hopefully seal nicely with a new valve.